Namaste everyone, my name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and welcome to another episode of Afterthoughts. And this is where I generally try to recap what I missed on my previous N5D Facebook Live video, which inevitably I'm going to miss stuff. So <laughs> this is where I come through and uh, answer all those questions that and uh, comments that I missed. So I just want to say, uh, you know, if you are watching this right now, be sure that you subscribe to N5D, whether it's the daily newsletter or the weekly one. I just sent out the uh, weekly one this morning, as I do every Monday, and that encapsulates the whole week so you don't miss anything. Or if you want to stay on top of everything right now, uh, subscribe to the daily newsletter um, where you get it sent to your inbox. And just like any newsletter, you might want to check your junk box because sometimes they get sent there. Anyway, moving on. Um, what else do we have going on here? I got a lot of comments I, I want to uh, get to. I want to give a special shout out, though, to all my Patreon people. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being part of our N5D Patreon uh, group. And uh, what I'll be doing is um, for my behind the scenes. Uh, people uh, that subscribe to 1111 or more I'll be putting out a new video here shortly um, where I'll be bringing all of you on my walk of gratitude and personally thanking each and every one of you and then what I'll be doing as well uh, for future behind the scenes you're gonna go through a day in my life <laughs> and you'll see all that goes on in a typical day uh, for Greg Prescott on N5D and all the work I've had I put in to bring you everything that I bring. So, and honestly, I love every second of it. I love doing what I do. This is a true passion of mine. And another thing I'll be doing um, at, at, for another uh, behind the scenes is taking you guys on a personal tour of Siesta Key, starting from Turtle Beach and going all the way up to uh, the village. And everything in between so if you haven't uh, subscribed to n5d patreon there's a link below check it out okay so what I'm gonna do is just jump right into it and starting off leading off batting first <laughs> is Suzanne Randall who said have you ever heard of putting crystals in the water, any water, ocean, rivers, or ponds? Yes, I have. And yes, we have done that. Um, a group of us got together for the summer solstice in Bimini a few years ago to do a group meditation there. And what we had, we brought with us was this large organite um, Chris, uh, pyramid that had the sand on the base of the organite the sand was the 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand from Siesta Key Beach and before we brought it out there I, I don't know I put it under the I have this six foot copper pyramid and put it under there we placed thoughts and intentions into it and uh, we ended up going out there bringing that with us and putting it into the water. I think the water might have been at least, you know, close to waist to chest high deep. I don't remember specifically, but we all did a meditation around it and then put it in, into the water at 11, 11 a.m. And uh, it was a very special moment for everyone that attended. It's something I'll always treasure. So yeah, you can do that. Now, I'm not sure if that's what you were talking about or there's something else that I do personally. I have, um, what I do is I make shungite water and I'll use the 10 pH water that I have poured into this pitcher that has, it's a tube that goes down with a screen, a mesh screen that's in it. I think you, you're supposed to use it for iced tea, to make tea, to make iced tea. So, but what I do is I put shungite rocks in there. So I make shungite water and then I add ozone to it. So I have ozone, shungite 10 pH water, <laughs> alkaline water. So it's a wonderful way to, you know, if you're gonna use rocks to do it that way too. But I have a feeling though, because you were saying any water, ocean, rivers or ponds, yeah. Um, you can put that in there to help 
um, negate any negative things, which would be a good idea right now for Lake Okeechobee, as well as um, the Gulf of Mexico. What I was thinking about doing was actually making some uh, alkaline water and adding ozone to it, because what they're saying is with the, the red tide, ozone will kill the red tide. So maybe if I just put that thought and intention and in, in simply a gallon a day poured in there to help heal the water. I think that's what I'm going to do. So thank you for bringing that up because it gave me a good idea of what I want to do to help the Gulf of Mexico. So moving on, uh, Malia Portia said, mentioned that there were seven planets in retrograde. And on August 6th, there was actually six planets plus Chiron in retrograde. And as of today, I believe Mars is going out of retrograde, so we're still left with Saturn, Pluto, and Neptune in retrograde right now. But yeah, it's been really crazy. When you combine that with, we just had, yesterday, we just had the Pisces full moon in Virgo. I'm sorry, the Pisces full moon. And we're in the Virgo uh, sun sign. So what you have, what you're looking at is Virgo being an earth sign and Pisces being a water sign, you have these things clashing. It's sink or swim right now. And then you have that on top of the Schumann resonances, which I'll get into a little bit later. And it creates a tumultuous time for all of us. And we're all going through things that we need to work on. And what this is doing is it's bringing up these opportunities, really, uh, for uh, self growth. So, and Malia mentioned DNA upgrades. I think that's part of what's happening too with these uh, human resonances that are coming on. And I'll speak a little bit about that a little later on. Lisa Daniello said, could you recommend a good book about crystals? And the first one would be The Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. Uh, I believe she has three editions of it. Each, each one is different, a little bit different. So yeah, check that out. Uh, the Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. Also, there's a, a dear woman, Adrian Goff, who has a book called Crystal Healing for the Whole Being. Crystal was one of our speakers at an N5D conference we had a couple years ago in Austin, Texas. And she's such a sweet soul. She truly loves doing what she does. And I know exactly how she feels. And she's so genuine and sincere. She can talk for days about one crystal, <laughs> let alone all these different ones. So I don't know how she actually manages to put everything into you know a, a one, two, or three hour presentation when uh, she's so knowledgeable about all this stuff. And she makes it fun and interactive. So yeah, that would be another one. Adrienne Goff, uh, A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E-G-O-F-F. So hi, Adrienne, if you're watching. Carolyn Thrynan, I believe is how you pronounce her name, said, I love your pendant. Can you put it close to the camera? So cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. So there it is. And what I've noticed is that when I'm waking up in the morning, it's behind me. <laughs> Every morning, wake up, it's back there. There's times where I've gone on the beach and I didn't notice this one time. I, I was talking to a couple just a couple days ago on the beach and uh, I just, I don't know, I just kind of reached up to see where the pendant was and it wasn't there. I did my whole walk of gratitude and everything with my pendant on the back side of my, well, on the back side of me. <laughs> no idea, walking around the whole morning like that. Um, but what I think it's telling me is that I need to give this one away too. I gave away my last one and I think I'll be doing a raffle for people on Patreon that are um, subbed for 555 or higher. I think I'll, I'll raffle this one off on that. But yeah, it's a cool pendant. I love the colors. They're high vibrational colors. You know, the green, the purple, blue, everything. It's just stunning. And what got me was it sparkles. You know, anyone that knows me knows I like, I like, absolutely like love. <laughs> Anything that sparkles. I see something sparkly. It's like it gets my attention. Yeah. So. 
Uh, she made another comment too about rice water is a fantastic, natural, amazing sunscreen, all natural and anti-aging, just spritz it on you. Now I've never heard of rice water being a sunscreen. That's, a, that's news to me, so I thought I'd share it with everyone else. I know that coconut oil is a natural sunscreen. When I uh, go to the beach, I usually use a, something that's called Ocean Potion and it's paraben free. It's, 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 it's a really good sunblock. And the best part about it is it smells like an orange cream skull. Remember those cream skulls you used to get like, like at the, from the ice cream man? I guess they sell them. <laughs> I don't know if there's ice cream men around anymore with the little trucks, but they sell them. You know, you can go to any grocery store and get the orange cream skulls, but that's, that's what this sunscreen smells like. And it just smells fantastic. And it doesn't have the retinal palmitate and all that other crap that's in there. But I also have, have used um, coconut oil. It has a natural SPF of four. It's not a lot, but you know when you already have the base tan, you don't need a lot. So I also use that on occasion. Now I have friends here in Florida who are much darker than I am. Uh, some with like Native American in them, they get really dark. And uh, even they use sunscreen on their face which is the only place I use it. I don't put it on anywhere else. One bottle w would last me years because I only put a tiny little dab, <laughs> about that big, a little tiny dab on my forehead, cheeks, chin, face. That's it, nose. Um, but yeah, even these, my friends that are really, really dark, they will burn, everyone will burn if you don't put it on your face. So if nothing else, definitely get your face covered. So if you guys know of anything else too, I'd imagine any of these um, healthy oils would be good. Avocado oil, you know, it's healthy. It's good for your skin, just like the coconut oil. So yeah, uh, if you have any ideas or, su or suggestions, leave them below. One thing I wanted to mention too about the um, retrograde planets. I have an article on in5d.com called Retro Retrograde Planets on Your Birth Chart or in your birth chart, one of those, I'll leave a link below for that. But uh, I know some people that have up to five retrograde planets on their birth chart. I know a woman who has only one, but it's Mercury retrograde. So per perpetual Mercury retrograde. Um, myself, I don't have any, which is rare, but I'm also a triple Libra, which is rare. And a lot of people think that Libras are all about balance. It was the complete opposite. We're constantly seeking balance. So I think Creator, Source, Universe said, yep, that's enough for him. <laughs> we'll let him just be a triple Libra and work that out. You know, and I can, I can tell you as being a triple Libra, it's I'm all in. When I'm all in, I'm completely all in. You know, if I go on a diet, I am devout to it. I, I will buy like a kajillion different vitamins, like a two-year supply of them. <laughs> you know, or, you know, getting on a food kick is something, some kind of food that I really like that's healthy. I'll buy a lot of it. And, uh, but I have to learn how to balance myself, not to go overboard. And that's why for me, it's so important to get that walk of gratitude in and go to the beach and to ground and be, become centered uh, because it does, it does help a lot. And without the beach, I'd be lost. <laughs> I'd be a scattered mess. So moving on, Heather Burkett. Now she, the way she worded this, I have to reword it a little. I think she, what she's saying though, is if you know someone that's going through a spiritual awakening, do you help tell, assist them? Or is that crossing boundaries? Yeah, you help them. Um, what I do, you help them with tact, okay? So what I end up doing is um, you create something simple, something that everybody could relate to. Like for example, if you're at the grocery store with this person, you can mention, I can't believe all this processed food. Have you ever noticed that it's like all on the inside aisles and all the healthy stuff is on the outside? That'll pique their interest. You know, you put little clues, little hints out there. You don't want to get too woo-woo too quickly. So you start out with stuff that everybody can agree with. Oh, look, check out that, that line in the sky up there. 
I heard it's called a chemtrail. Do you remember seeing those when we were kids? That kind of thing. And from there, eventually they start questioning more. It's important though that you read their cues that they're giving to you. Are they looking at you intently and absorbing and questioning or just even nodding their head? Or do they have like a blank stare on their face and their jaws dropped and like, what the hell is this person talking about kind of look? So <laughs> you always gotta try though. So um, you can also put it out there that your higher self connects with the other person's higher self and that they help each other through the awakening process. I hope that answered your question. So, this one's big. And that's why I saved it for last for the questions. I still have a couple more comments, but... Okay, Ross Corey can you talk about the energy updates? Wow. <laughs> this was over the weekend, Ross, and I'm sure you felt it as well as just about the rest of us. The rest of the world felt this. This is what happened over the weekend right here. This is one of the biggest splotches of white I've seen on the Schumann Resonance in a while. And what you're looking at here, this is the Schumann Resonance chart. Um, and what you're looking at is whenever you have these white splotches right, like that, that's when we have these incoming waves of energy that are flooding the planet. I always know, and many of you always know too, you know, when you'll feel that, you'll either feel this huge surge of energy going on, or sometimes it's the exact opposite. You'll just feel like your eyelids are really, really heavy and you feel really warm. And as soon as I get either one of those feelings, I go to that website. I have a link on N5D that can lead you to it. I can't post that link on Facebook because Facebook banned the link. They don't want us knowing about it. But I'll put that link that I have for it. I don't know if YouTube will allow me to put that actual link, but there's a link on N5D that'll get you there and I'll put it down here too. So you can check that out every time and then just bookmark that link on your own computer at that point. But uh, I always check it out because I, I always know intuitively, I know that there's a wave going through and I'm certainly not surprised anymore when this happens. So yeah, what we had was this huge weekend of waves in conjunction with the Pisces full moon. <laughs> Talk about a double whammy. I mean, gosh, there are so many things getting processed and cleansed and so many truths coming up to the surface for people to learn from. Everyone, all of us, we all have our issues. <laughs> no one's impervious to this. You know, I, I went through a, a tumultuous time yesterday morning, and, but I got through it and I got over it. And what we're seeing are these points are, the what's happening is we're creating node points in our own personal and as well as collective timelines. And this is one of those no points. It's the point of no return, no turning back. You'll remember this weekend for a long time, forever. So that's one of those points that here it is. This is this was huge. There's so many things that went on on so many levels. And now, which was interesting, this is when I came down, I ended up taking it was like a three or four hour nap. I think it was a three hour nap. And I didn't look at the chart beforehand, but I just, I was so wiped out from everything, all the energies and the, the new moon or the full moon and everything that was going on. I was just so wiped out that I had to go to sleep. And what happens is when you go to sleep, this is when we're getting the downloads. You're going to get them regardless. Um, but chances are you're, you're going to get um, heavy big time downloads in your sleep. Uh, and they'll continue these DNA upgrades. They'll continue, and this is this was such a major, major push right here on the energies that these downloads you're going to be getting them probably for weeks to come. If I were to if I were to guess on that, so what people were feeling 
I put a post on N5D and there's an article today on N5D.com, but on my personal Facebook, um, I made a post when those, right in the midst of when those energies were happening. And it felt like, I think it was 3.23 a.m. that I made the post and it felt like I had drank like five cups of coffee. And I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker, but it felt like I was just so wired full of energy. I had all this creativity going on within me as well. It was amazing. And it, my crown chakra was lit up. It felt like, it felt like somebody was just like lightly touching my hair. Not, not like massaging the scalp kind of thing. Though I have had those intense ones too during this one. But initially that's how it felt. It just felt like somebody was gently rubbing my scalp. I also started out with like, I, it was almost like the, the beckoning call because I heard this, it was a lower pitched frequency out of my left ear that I don't normally hear. Usually they're higher pitched, but it was a lower pitched frequency that I, I heard. And that's what basically was one of my first signs to go check out the Schumann resonance chart to see what's going on. And sure as heck, yeah, we were getting slammed with all these amazing energies. Now, you know, what's happening is, like I said, a lot of purging going on, a lot of getting rid of that which doesn't serve us. <laughs> that which is not in our highest good is going on. Um, and that can be, you know, a lot of emotions that we're going through, relationships, um, scenarios, jobs, it could be anything, a number of things, you know, whatever it is that is subjective to you, I'm sure you understand completely what it is that was brought up to be purged and transmuted and cleansed. So we'll all get through this. It's okay. You know, it's a blessing in all honesty. So hang in there. We'll make it through it. Couple comments uh, that I got on that N5D Facebook Live, the last one that I did. I was talking about creating a new earth and all these cool ideas. You know, one of them was to have like these cool uh, rivers that you could go on, and there's like a huge lily pad that you can sit on and kind of use it as a raft and just float down the river. And uh, so we had a couple. Uh, other people comment on that. Gail Lambert said that there could be a hot pebble stone wall that you could sit on while dangling your feet in the water and it would be and it would softly massage your body. How cool would that be? I love it. Great idea, Gail. And then Carolyn Thrennan said, imagine if we could have avatar bodies we could change every day. How cool would that be? So imagine you want it to be like eight foot tall or three. Or, you know, maybe this skinny or to experience what it'd be like to be a lot larger. It doesn't matter. Maybe uh, change your hair color. Maybe just change your complete sex. I, who knows? You'd be experimenting. It's, it's your choice at that point. But how cool would that be just to change your body? I thought it would be awesome. So, you know, like that. Your eye color just changes. Bam. Purple. Green. Hazel. Blue. <laughs> so thank you for the ideas uh, what we're doing when we put these ideas out there is we are creating that new earth through thoughts and intentions what ideas do you guys have Pay, put them below make a comment because when you make those comments other people are thinking about it and it makes the possibility become a reality so I'm going to leave it off at that Right now, I'm going to continue on with my Patreon people, but for everybody watching on YouTube and on N5D, thank you so much for um, being part of our N5D family, and I'm sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.